good afternoon. I've just been hacking my own hair off that much, in fact. It's completely uneven, but I never wear it down, so I don't mind. There's something very interesting going on outside. It's Sunday afternoon, it's about 20 to 2 at the moment. Today I've just been doing language learning and working on the vlog all day, and now I'm going to tackle those sofa covers. These ones. They're gonna go on there and my daughter is gonna give me a hand. Oh, my little help has really been helpful. It took us ages to work out which way it went. <laughs> I got it wrong about three times. You're getting stuck, are you? Oh, I'll give it a tug. Yeah, I think I'm nearly there. I dread doing this bit as well because I always get stuck with it, but it's, it's much quicker having you to help me, Isabel. Brilliant, we got little velcro -y things here. That just holds that in place then. Ooh. It's going relatively smoothly, this is. Um, Isabel, it's a base one. <laughs> you said other way, to be fair. Um, uh, the other, other way. I don't know how she's got her thick dressing gown on in 27 degree heat, but there we are. Right, we need to do the, uh, the backy bits now. Yeah, we did it. I'm pleased with that. I hate doing that job. <laughs> It's a little bit wonky looking, but I'm sure it'll kind of smooth itself out in time. I'm thinking I'm going to do the cushion covers, actually, because I don't think I've done them for ages, and they are actually looking grubby. I've actually got another gig this evening, second night in a row. So this one is by a lighthouse. I mean, the venue is like a lighthouse, but there's actually going to be a marquee, so we're not going to be in the lighthouse. I'm really hoping we'll be able to get to go in it, though, and see what it's like in like, because sometimes when things are at venues that have a marquee, like, they'll use the building for maybe eating or there's toilets in there or, I don't know, there's little hangout rooms, some sort of facilities, but then the main activities go in the marquee. But we'll see, won't we? But otherwise, I'll have a look at the outside of it. Anyway, I'm going to get these in the wash now. I need to do my towels as well. You probably don't know this, but I actually don't have cushions in here. I have blankets. And that way, if we're ever chilly of an evening, we can just take them out and get nice and warm. <laughs> this is a blanket that my mum knitted for me when I very first moved out of home and I had it on my bed as a very young adult. I think it's lovely. <laughs> my gosh, this is an old one. It's probably from the 1970s, honestly. This used to be much darker colour and like really silky and I used to rub it on my lip in bed as, I don't know, toddler. It's one of my earliest memories, just loving that edge. <laughs> No embarrassing. Oh, that blinking thing's just gone off again. I mean, you can just switch it off and it switches off, but uh, what if it does it when we're out? I'm gonna have to decide what to do about it. I haven't decided yet. To be perfectly honest with you, I've completely forgotten about it because it didn't happen for ages since the last time. I think everyone in the UK right now is washing as many things as they can before the rains come back. Right, fun times for me now. I've got a whacking great big form to fill in for Izzy's education maintenance allowance, which is 30 quid a week, which she's entitled to. This is overdue, but she only drew my attention to it after it was already due in, so i better get on with that then. Hmm, this is an interesting development. Look, the little capsule of washing liquid is stuck in the door. It wasn't there when it started. <laughs> Let's see what happens to that then. Look, this is her letter. I'm just tied in her private details there. 2nd of June, this letter was from. She only looked at it the other day. It says that you've got to get your parents or guardians to complete the form. And look, 1st of July it was due in. You should return your completed form by the 1st of July 2022 for your EMA payments to start when you return to school or college. If you do do it late, they'll backdate it. And I know this because she did the same thing last year. I didn't realise she had to apply again, to be honest. They sent this to her. I'll just put the eligibility thing on the screen here so you can pause and read just in case you've got kids approaching college age and you're interested so they can qualify to receive £30 a week during term time. Right, that's that sorted. I'll get Izzy to post it when she gets back. She's out at the moment. She's nipped Tesco's to get hair dye. I'm concerned. No, I've given her the go-ahead. She wants to bleach bits, but she's assured me it's not going to come into contact with her scalp and it's only going to be a couple of little straggly bits. She's getting me some decaffeinated ground coffee while she's there because I went to Tesco's the other day and it was on my list and somehow my eye did not see it on the list and I came back without it. 
I didn't have the right size envelope either, I only had a big one, but I thought, well, if I put it in a big one and don't fold it, I'll have to pay more for the larger size envelopes, so I just folded it. <laughs> I've added A5 envelopes onto my shopping list. Oh, and I've also booked something. IB is taking us on a mini adventure in a few weeks' time, and I think we might be taking one of Izzy's friends from college. It depends, she's got a job and she needs to see if she can get time off work. Uh, anyway, we've booked it, so we're either going with or without, <laughs> depending on her availability. Uh, anyway, yeah, it should be fun. I need a cup of tea, I do, but I'm gonna start cooking now. But I'm perfectly happy to swig tea whilst cooking. Izzy's requested tortellini, so I'm gonna cook up the reduced to clear veg to put in with it. The 44 pence beans, the 45 pence broccoli, the celery sticks that were 19 pence, and these mushrooms that have been in the fridge a while, and a tin of tomatoes or two, and some butter beans today. That tablet thing seems to have found its way in. There's a sea of green in there, sautéing away. I've cut everything into tiny pieces. I've added my two tins of tomatoes, a bit of kettle water, um, an oxo cube and some basil. And I'm going to leave that to simmer for 10 minutes or so, I think, before I put the pasta on, just so it's done at the same time. The problem with beans and broccoli is they do take a little bit longer to cook than the peppers and courgettes and things. I'm going to take my cup of tea out into the garden with me and I'm just going to do a little bit of deadheading out there. Might transfer that osteosperma. I'll just check that he doesn't object because she uh, placed it very specifically where she placed it but you see there's a space here because those two things have perished and I really don't think this pot is big enough mind you they don't look like they're doing very well either but they're not dead yet done it I'm gonna pull those dead heads off now though I'm presuming to do them right at the stem where it meets it oh I wonder if I need a, a device for it if I can just pull it off I think it's all right it's probably a knack that experienced gardeners have. I've deadheaded. Just wanted to show you the temperature in here. Look, 28.3. Oh, it's heavenly. It's much, much hotter out there though than it is in here. I'm just popping the kettle on to do that tortellini. This is, ooh, boiling a bit ferociously. Maybe we'll take the lid off. It smells quite nice. Good. While that's cooking, I'm just gonna deal with these few bits. I'm gonna put the clean stuff away, dirty stuff in, hand wash anything that needs to be hand washed. Here's dinner. It's looking a bit more vibrant, isn't it? And that's looking a lot cleaner. 10 to five, I'm going at six, and I think I'm actually gonna go and have a little lie down for a bit. See if I can fall asleep for 20 minutes or so. It's about half past six now, and we're well on our way. We're very nearly here. In about one minute, we'll be here, or there. We've got to find the uh, marquee there. Yeah, got to find the marquee. We're doing the usual last minute not quite sure how to get in, but we think it's this way. It says this is a private road and we're going down it, so fingers crossed. Oh, we've got some goats grazing. I reckon it's going to be the end of this very bumpy road. Oh, I can see the lighthouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's over, over there. there. Rick is pointing over in that direction. I think we might be coming. Is that a turning? Yeah, I think. No, it's no, a gate. Okay. But there's, there's the, there's the lighthouse. There's a marquee anywhere. No. We seem to be approaching it. We've been a bit dubious about whether this was the right turning or not. Oh, it's going the opposite oh, direction Oh, it's twisting away now. Oh, it says wedding. It's this way. I see all dust in the wing mirror coming up behind the car. Oh, it's over there. Oh, there's the marquee, yeah. We've parked up in the fields. We're gonna pop up and explore. We're good and early. So we'll go and sort out where we're playing. Well, I've had a problem with my thingy tonight. It was making a funny noise. I'm using my pink mead instead. I don't know what's the matter. There's some interference on it or something. What have I done wrong here then? Let me have a look. Well, we've been at it absolutely ages. So I'm gonna break for some cake. Yeah, it's going all right. Just come out the back for a bit of fresh air and look what we're right next to from the early 1800s a lighthouse <laughs> amazing isn't it <laughs> i think it might be 1820 something like that let's go and have a check yeah look first lit first of december 1821 i can smell fire big fire's been lit they're gonna have some fireworks just have a little potter about apparently it's so hot in the marquee that the dancers keep going outside in between every dance and when we call them back in they do come straight away but they like a bit of a cool down <laughs> it's quite unusual i can see the sea actually saying that the tide's right out <laughs> it's all sand i 
What's that? Driftwood. How is that all the way up here? Oh, maybe, the, well, really the water comes this high? It's very close to the lighthouse then. The toilet is a TARDIS. Just coming to the end. I know it looks like it's deserted, but there are guests everywhere. I'm just filming very strategically around them. Oh, there's a load of cows there, and they're literally going right down to the water. I'll just switch cameras a minute so you can see. All right, so hang on, let's see if we can spot them. Look, the cows are going right down to the beach. I've never seen cows on a beach before. I'm zooming right in on them. Have you not seen sheep go down to the beach? No, I haven't. Look. Salt marsh lamb. Oh, is that like something you eat and they're all salty? Yeah, the meat becomes all salty. Oh. And they produce it down in Gower and also up in the Lincoln Peninsula in North Wales. Oh, right. Thank you, Sal, for the food info. <laughs> I'm not a meat eater, so I don't tend to know these things. I'm wondering what that is over there. Somebody will probably tell me in the comments. Anyway, it's beautiful. I could stand and stare out here, but I think we need to go and do some more dances now. Give two hands to your partner. Gallop down the middle. I'm filming in the TARDIS. Just to make sure I don't drop my camera. Ah, that is so noisy. They're having a break for fireworks and then we're going to do one more dance. Oh my goodness, frighten the living daylights out of me. The kids have all gone to bed, I think, apart from a couple that are a bit older and been in lots of Kaylee dancing. Lovely little dancers, actually, little looks of joy on their faces. Oh, here we go, some more. Oh, it's scary out there, it's so noisy. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not even scared of fireworks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was in the TARDIS and then it all started. It helped, with, you know, <laughs> expulsion. <laughs> is that you on the loo, is it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> can film now, everyone's outside. Oh my goodness. They're going on and on. There was a load on just now, it sounded like whimpering dogs overhead. Very loud. I think they finished. They just round of applauded. I think we have to do our last dance now. We're off now, standing in the long grass of the car park. There's the lighthouse. People are still milling about outside. They're having a quiet time. We're just loading the car up. It's about 5 to 11 and we're heading off back along this track again. <laughs> it's quarter to 12, I'm back home. Izzy is up. She's just... Uh, dyed her hair pink, partially, some of it, very bright pink, and uh, well, I've been out, <laughs> so that was interesting, what else? Oh yeah, that lighthouse where we were, apparently Doctor Who's been filmed there at some point. I'm really tired, I need to go to bed soon. Thank you so much for watching the video, could you please give it a like if you liked it, it helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate that, and if you're new, would like to follow more of my stories, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!